Hey everyone, welcome to this shortwave radio channel and this is a quick video to show you how to calibrate your software defined receiver in HD SDR. This is a request. It's been uh, there's been many people that actually ask me since I've been doing more videos of the Ephedri SDR. So one of the common problems of the uh, tuning around on HD SDR and with any you know type of um, device is that sometimes the frequency accuracy isn't perfect. And you're wondering, how can I make it perfect? So in my case here, you can see that WWV is not exactly on 15 megahertz. It's actually tracked to being 15,000.139. So uh, it could be more than that in your case. So what you do is, first of all, you need a accurate signal that you can use to really tune the frequency. Most international broadcasters are not necessarily uh, precise enough for you to use their signal. It's, you know, if you don't have anything else, you can try it out, but uh, I would prefer something with much, much more precision. For example, time signal stations are very precise on their frequencies. WWV, WWVH, CHU Canada, they all have their frequencies um, basically calculated by their atomic clocks and they are extremely precise for that. So choose a time signal station if possible or if you have you know a modern signal generator you can actually generate a signal on a very precise known frequency. So here it goes. Zoom in that signal a little more because you want to have something uh, also that you want to see. Now look at that spike here. This is the spike where WWV is at its peak, basically. So you want to try to be on that peak if possible, because that's where you'll be in the signal. Once you are there, what you'll need to do, now you see that I'm a little off, go into options, go into calibration settings, and here Enter the correctly tuned frequency in Hertz. So 15, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, press enter and OK. That would slightly move. You see it moves slightly my signal, but it now puts it directly on 15 megahertz. Now you are calibrated. Now your signal will always be pretty much, you know, as close as possible to this. Now you can zoom back out if you want and enjoy your SDR listening. But this is pretty much how you calibrate it. So you got to click that frequency that you're off, go into the options and calibration settings. And here, enter the real frequency that it should display for that signal. And it's going to correct it for you. So that's how you calibrate your uh, HD SDR software when using a software defined radio. I see many, many videos out there of uh, people, you know, tuning around different signals and they're off, um, you know, several hundred kilohertz, uh, several hundred hertz, sorry, or up to a, a couple of kilohertz. And um, this is how you now will tune it. So if I enter uh, 11930, for example, for Radio Mark T, it should be here. Look at that. I'm directly on Radio Mark T's frequency, as you see from the peak. Uh, WWCR must be coming in pretty strong on 12160. Yeah, it is here. Look at that. Right on the peak. That's what you want. Now I'm calibrated perfectly. And I know that whatever signal I'm listening to, I'll be quite all right. One little thing that I didn't notice, and it might depend on the um, software-defined receiver itself, sometimes upper lower sideband calibration is a little off. I have noticed that compared to the AM. On the ephedra doesn't seem to affect, but on the soft 66, for example, I do see a difference. So sometimes you might need to calibrate it depending on the mode that you use. But for the most part, with most good SDRs or software defined radios, uh, one calibration is OK. So that's pretty much how you do it. I uh, hope it helps. Um, a lot of people are asking that question. And uh, having an accurate frequency display is always pretty cool. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching our videos.